Hey guys, Matt here with Superior Signal Company. I wanted to make a short video today showing how you can use an ultrasonic leak detector to find um, all of your shop air leaks, which is just one of the many applications that these instruments are able to do. Um, if you're not familiar with the technology, uh, basically an ultrasonic leak detector is a listening device. It allows you to hear uh, the ultrasonic noise that a compressed gas leak makes and therefore pinpoint it. And you hear it right through a headset that you attach to the, uh, to the instrument. And what's so great about this technology is that it works with any gas. So it could be uh, refrigerant, it could be nitrogen, it could be compressed air, it could even be a vacuum. Um, all of that makes the exact same noise uh, that these instruments pick up. You may have seen our VPE or VPEGN in a few videos relating to the HVAC industry. Uh, that's where it's probably most prevalent, uh, finding refrigerant leaks. But of course, these instruments have so many applications. And today we're going to talk about uh, finding leaks around your shop. So here I am in my shop. I've got a big 80-gallon uh, compressor over here. I've got the shop plumbed with half-inch copper with about six or seven drops. And this is a good machine. It's able to, uh, to keep up with my sandblast cabinet and my plasma cutter and, of course, my air tools. Um, we do a lot of automotive work here. Um, that's all great. The problem is that I always forget to turn it off. Uh, and or I forget to shut off the main valve here and of course No systems perfect. I have I believe a few significant leaks because this thing drains pretty quick And of course when I forget to turn it off It just runs and runs and runs all night or if I go away Then it could be running for days and that can actually add up into a significant electrical bill um, and of course for someone a hobbyist just as myself, that's one thing, but for a business that has multiple large compressors, uh, that can be very expensive. Um, air definitely isn't free. So we're going to use the AccuTrack VPE GN today to scan the shop and find all those air leaks. So let's get started. Okay, so I went ahead and filled up the compressor. Um, I let it fill all the way, in this case about 160, 170 PSI. Um, the AccuTrack can actually find leaks that are only a few PSI, but of course some leaks might only leak when uh, it's at operating pressure. And of course, uh, the more pressure you have, the more turbulence, the more ultrasound you're going to create and uh, make it easier to find. So finding leaks with AccuTrack is as simple as scanning. It's directional and uh, that's, that's what allows you to pinpoint the exact location, uh, listening and pointing the instrument and determining right where it is. So normally I'd wear a headset attached to the instrument. Right now I have it plugged into a speaker behind the camera. So I'm gonna try to operate these at the same time. and Hopefully you can hear exactly what I'm hearing uh, through the instrument. So let's begin scanning and we'll see if we can find any leaks. In most cases, especially when you have leaks in hard surfaces, uh, the noise is detectable from quite a distance. So all the pipes along the ceiling and along the wall, we can actually scan from down here because at this pressure, they would put out enough noise that you'd be able to hear the leak very clearly from a distance. Now you might notice that when I point the instrument at some of these, uh, some of these lights, you hear a bit of a noise and that is actually ultrasound as well and actually detecting electrical arcing in Corona is a completely separate application for these instruments that we'll cover another time. But for now, we're listening for compressed air leaking, which sounds more like a jet engine. I heard a little something here. Let's see what we got. You can hear that faint leak. I'm gonna turn up the sensitivity just a little bit on the instrument. There it is, look at that. So that noise, that noise that you're hearing is literally the air rushing out of this leak right here in our drain. So that I believe has a rubber gasket in it that I'll have to replace. Let's keep looking. Now what I'm gonna do is I adjust the sensitivity uh, to match the environment. Sometimes uh, it'll work better with it turned down just a little bit. Here is a reel. I left a tool on here and you know these quick disconnects sometimes leak. Sure enough, you can probably see here. 
we have a leak right in this quick disconnect. I don't know if I'm going to call that a major leak. It's kind of my fault for leaving the tool in there. But uh, if I take the tool out, then we have no leak. So that's not really a, a bad leak right there. But let's keep scanning along the ceiling. Let's check this drop over on this other side here. And we have nothing here, so there's no leaks on this drop. Now we're going to head upstairs. And first I'm going to check this regulator right here. Oh, I hear something. Let's see what we got. Right where the hose attaches. There it is. So we have a leak right in these threads right here. Let's keep moving. That's two significant leaks. All right, let's check the cabinet over here. Oh, we've got a big leak here. I'm gonna open this up. Listen to that. In this case, I'm gonna turn down the sensitivity. And we clearly have a major leak right here. And I will stress that I cannot hear anything unless I have the, uh, the instrument on. This is not an audible leak uh, that I could detect just using my ears. So that's what makes this instrument so great is that uh, it lets you hear things, of course, that you can't hear yourself. So one more drop here to check. Nothing. So there we have it. That's three or four leaks. So while I'm not thrilled that there were so many leaks in my system, I guess I'm pretty happy that we found them all. I guess we found about four. Uh, so it was very quick and easy with the AccuTrack. Um, I certainly wouldn't have wanted to uh, spray my whole system with soapy water to try to find leaks. That would have been messy and very time consuming. Uh, so this was uh, great for that application. And uh, it was quick and easy. And you know, there's a lot of different ways I can use this instrument here in the shop. We'll definitely make some more videos showing um, some of those other applications. And I would definitely encourage you to check out YouTube and see uh, some other videos on, on ways people have used this instrument. Um, AccuTrack makes a variety of different ultrasonic leak detectors. Uh, some of them are a little higher end, made for um, you know industrial environments uh, for finding uh, very small compressed gas leaks uh, in, in those situations. Uh, but the VPE and the VPEGN is is particularly suitable for hobbyists, um, automotive people, HVAC technicians, things like that. Um, so as you can see, I definitely need to work on my pipe fitting skills, <laughs> or at least uh, buy fewer cheap Chinese uh, brass products uh, that, that, to use in the system. And on that topic, I'll mention that this is not made in China. This is made in the USA. Uh, Superior Signal backs it up with a full year warranty. Um, and if you ever have trouble with it, uh, it can be sent in for repair. Um, also a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't love this instrument and it doesn't work for you in any way, you can send it back for a full refund. But uh, that uh, probably won't be the case because there are many ways to use this instrument. And uh, that's about it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I hope uh, that you'll give uh, AccuTrack a look uh, for your own toolbox. So thanks again.